the roles that Prince George and Princess Charlotte will play at the coronation have been revealed. On May 6, King Charles will be crowned, and nine-year-old Prince George is anticipated to play a part. Prince Louis, four, and Princess Charlotte, seven, are anticipated to watch the impending coronation. Given their youth and the fact that they are not the monarchy's immediate heirs, this is probably the case. On the other side, a source said that Prince George, who is second in line, might take part in the historic event more actively despite his youth. According to the Telegraph, Prince William, and Kate, the Prince and Princess of Wales, are mulling over whether George should participate in the event and if so, how. Given that millions of people around the world will be watching the coronation on May 6, the nine-year-old might experience an onslaught of attention and pressure. The Prince and Princess of Wales, who have worked hard to give their children as normal of a childhood as possible, will undoubtedly be concerned about this. This follows reports that the Queen Consort wants one of her five grandchildren, all of whom are older than George, to participate in the celebration. Except for Eliza Lopes, who served as a bridesmaid for the Princess of Wales at Kate and William's wedding in April 2011, this would be the first time these teenagers were thrust into the spotlight and on a global platform. The fact that Camilla's grandkids attended the coronation may have served as a sign of the family's unity and the love King Charles has for his step-grandchildren. At one of the most revered parts of the service, when the Archbishop of Canterbury anoints her with holy oil, Camilla wants her grandchildren to hold the canopy over her head, according to the Sunday Times. The children of Laura Lopes and Tom Parker Bowles, however, were not given such a position, which is traditionally performed by duchesses, according to palace sources, who spoke to the Telegraph. A royal source added that discussing the potential role the Queen's grandchildren might play rather than the King's would be wholly wrong. They continued by mentioning the grandchildren's age differences and pointing out that no definite choices had been made regarding their engagement. The most recent coronation events in British history were attended by young children. Little Princesses Elizabeth and Margaret accompanied senior royals in the procession from Westminster Abbey's entrance to their places during the coronation of Queen Elizabeth and King George VI in 1937, flanking Princess Mary, the then Princess Royal. King Charles was only four years old when his mother was crowned in June 1953. The then heir to the throne was sat in the royal box at the London Abbey during the holy event between the Queen Mother and Princess Margaret. Throughout the course of a holiday weekend, events honouring volunteers will be held, a concert will be held at Windsor Castle, and there will be street celebrations in honour of King Charles' coronation. According to a prior statement from Buckingham Palace, the actual service will represent the monarch's role today and look towards the future, while being entrenched in long-standing traditions and pageantry. The event is anticipated to be shorter than the three-hour coronation of Elizabeth II in keeping with current circumstances. In another news, Rishi Sunak is charged with with black arts, dragging King Charles into the upheaval surrounding Brexit. On Monday afternoon, Ursula von der Leyen was received by King Charles at Windsor Castle in what some have criticised as Rishi Sunak's apparent attempt to advance his new Brexit plan. After asking King Charles to meet with European President Ursula von der Leyen on Monday, Rishi Sunak has been accused of using the dark arts of number 10 to insert the monarch into the middle of a divisive political issue. When the king welcomed the top members of the Eurocart for afternoon tea at Windsor Castle to discuss the crisis in Ukraine and climate change, it was the meeting's ramifications after such a significant political deal was reached that sparked questions. Some claim that the PM's attempt to push his new Brexit plan on Northern Ireland at the meeting was apparent. One analyst charged that by calling the Brexit agreement the Windsor Agreement, which has obvious connections to the monarchy, the government was purposefully attempting to attach it to the king.